in October. That is two days after the, the election, or so-called election. Uh, police protection, which had had throughout the campaign, was uh, withdrawn. And the very next day, on Saturday, I received two phone calls, uh, which were basically death threats. Three years ago, I survived a terrible assassination attempt. I was shot 16 times. And this time, I was not ready to ignore any death threats. What are you expecting from the international community now? We are asking our Western friends to take a position. They cannot support a government that is killing its own civilian population and justify it on the grounds that it is stable because that, is, that appears to be the current argument by our friends in Europe, in Western Europe. Uh, Hitler's regime was very stable actually, inside Germany, because he was killing all the opponents. Dictatorships are stable. But what is the price of that stability? Killings, repression, uh, torture, uh, that cannot be, cannot be accepted. John Magufuli's first term was marked by fairly good economic results, but at the same time, we know that Tanzania uh, dropped by 53 positions in the ranking of Reporters Without Borders on press freedom. What is your assessment of this first term? During that period, foreign direct investment fell by 50%. Unemployment has risen. Hundreds, hundreds of business people in Tanzania have been uh, arrested, falsely charged with economic crimes. If you look at the, the, the statistics on paper, they look very impressive. They may look very impressive. But on the ground, everyone is hurting. Now, coming to uh, your question about free speech, about press freedoms, President Magufuli has been a disaster. Newspapers, Radio and television stations have been shut down. News uh, uh, journalists are targeted. Political freedoms have been severely restricted. We have been persecuted. I was nearly killed. I was lucky. Others were not so lucky. We have party leaders, uh, party members, party activists who were killed in broad daylight. What are you going to do now? Well, I'll continue the struggle. Tanzania has always been an anchor of stability in a very turbulent region, the Great Lakes region. 